So we know what pizzas are, this flatbread with toppings needs no introduction. But where did it all start? There are records of it, the ancient Greeks adding things like oils and herbs and cheese to their flatbread. The soldiers of Darius the Great have been known to bake flatbreads and would flavor them with dates and cheese. In the book The Enaid, written by Virgil, it said that Pompey had kitchens and tools to make a sort of proto-pizza. In other places, flatbreads like Lahmacun, although their origins aren't very clear, most likely originating from modern-day Armenia or the Middle East, share similar characteristics to what we call a pizza. Now that we understand the ancient history of a pizza, where did the word pizza come from? Unfortunately, there is no definite answer for this. However, some people believe it came from an ancient Greek word for pita, even though that word comes from Italian origin. Some also point to the Latin word piso pizzare, which means to flatten something. The letter does make more sense, given that pizzas are flattened, and as we can see, flatbreads with toppings on top have existed for quite a while, to say the least. However, the idea of a modern pizza is actually quite recent, dating back to Naples in 1889, when the Royal Palace of Capo di Monte commissioned a local pizza maker by the name of Raffaella Spazito to create a pizza. In honor of Queen Margherita, Raffaella created three types of pizzas, one of them being made with red tomatoes, green basil, and white mozzarella, which is the same three colors found on the then newly created Italian flag. At the turn of the 20th century, a lot of Italians emigrated to the US for a better life, more specifically cities like New York City, Detroit and Chicago, just to name a few. After a while, Italian communities started forming and they started opening Italian bakeries, which some of them even sold pizza. However, the first official pizza restaurant opened in Manhattan in 1903, known as Lombardi's, which is still open till this day, and shortly after, pizza places opened in New Haven, Connecticut. At this point, pizza was starting to become more and more popular, and Italians started to move to other countries such as Canada and Australia. It got to the point where non-Italians started opening pizza places which became pizza franchises, such as John Schnetter, the disgraced founder of Papa John's, from what I can find, is of German origin. Nowadays, pizza has gotten so popular that fast food pizza restaurants are now multi-billion euro companies and have outlets in almost every country in the world. Frozen pizzas are found pretty much in any supermarket nowadays, and even pizza merchandises are a thing now. Okay, this was my first video like this. Um, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and uh, I'll try to release another one next week. I'll try to post one every Saturday or so.